guys, uh, just thought I'd show you my new toy that I've just got. Um, I've been fancying one of these since they announced them. I've been looking at single frequency machines for a little bit now, like Amphibio and Impact from Nocta. Um, and I know I mean, Legend's got single frequencies, I know that. Um, but I just fancied something different, you know. That's how you learn, isn't it? You know, um, so anyway, I decided to get this when it came out. It don't come with headphones, but I've got headphones. So I'm just going to show you really quickly what you get in box. And then we'll get it outside and I'm taking it on a hunt on Sunday. So, there we go. I've checked alt bits are in here, which why it looks like it's been opened before, because it has. But I just to check everything were in it when I got it. This shaft's like Equinox one. Uh, it's got the same little rubber bits in end. It comes with a quick start sheet, uh, which most of them do, don't they? But you can download a full uh, manual online, which I've already done. Um, uh, when we come to Gubbins end, this is your new control. And I'll tell you what, what they're saying about how comfortable it is to hold, it really is. Um, it's got magnetic charge point, it's got little light, snap locks yeah really nice impressed with that uh, arm cup again I've heard you know that they're quite flexible these that they, they shouldn't break uh, so that's good we've got a little allen key for putting arm cup on charge cable magnetic charge cable um, this is your middle shaft it's got Obviously snap locks, you know, just like some of the top detectors. And it's square, as you can see. So I think it should be quite strong, that. I think that should be quite strong. So quite impressive. And the build quality is, is very good. I think it's very good. Um, last but not least, we've got the coil. And the coil... Is I think it's the one off the Vanquish. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm not really up on that. But the V12X, I've got a feeling it's one off Vanquish. So you can get a little 8 inch one as well. Um, it's got a skid plate on it. Uh, these lugs look a little bit thicker than Equinox's, I think. Wife's got an Equinox. Um, and you've got your rubbers there, obviously. So that's it, guys. I'm going to be taking it out in garden, but as any regular viewers know, my garden's iron infested, so I'm not expecting to get up. But I just want to wait it sounds and that and turn it on and, you know. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm going to be taking this out at weekend, um, and I'm going to do half a day with my legend and half a day with this. So please subscribe if you're not. Leave us a comment if you want to know anything about this, if you want me to show anything about it, any settings out like that. Please leave a comment in the bottom. And if you like this, like it. Um, and we'll see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. First time I've turned this on. <laughs> ah, there we go. So... Field one, fifteen. Let's have a listen. It's iron infested is my garden, so there's lots and lots of signals. But just thought I'd give it a whirl. Can you hear it? They're everywhere. Some are quite good signals though. It's going to be in action at weekend. Uh, so I'll definitely be using it at least half a day. We're off on a dig again with the UK metal detecting days. So it'll be definitely getting a run out. Maybe in the afternoon. I'll, I'll use my legend in the morning. Then in the afternoon, maybe give this a go. Well that's it guys, Xterra Pro joins the family.
we shall see you on the next dig.